What's up guys, back with another YouTube video about our home gym exercises. Today we're going to be covering the kettlebell, one of the most versatile pieces of equipment you can use. Uh, we're going to go over the lower body exercises that I like to use for the kettlebell. In this video, I've got Brandon demonstrating. He's going to start off with a kettlebell swing. There's two types of swings. There's like a US type swing, which is much higher versus a more European, Eastern European, which is much lower, focusing more on the hip. So he's gonna start out with the more Eastern European or Russian style, where he's really putting a lot of emphasis on hinging at the hip joint. So he's gonna go ahead and do a few reps here. If you've never done a kettlebell swing, this is a good place to start really trying to get some activation and get a good pump to the hip muscles, this is a good place to start. Uh, after that, you can move into a more US style swing where you swing it all the way up overhead. He's gonna show a few of those. If you wanna incorporate some upper body into the kettlebell swing, this is how you do that. But for guys just starting out, uh, I wouldn't do a kettlebell swing workout more than once or twice a week for a couple weeks. A lot of stress when you think about it. The weight's a long way away from the from the fulcrum or the lever in the in the back in the low back where a lot of the stress happens. So you want to give you want to give it a day or two off to to rest. From here, we're going to go into uh, the deadlifting or Romanian deadlift style. So he's going to step up onto the box there. Yep, both feet on the box, knees bent just a little bit. He's gonna be hinging from his hips again. So the knees are just barely bent. He's gonna hinge all the way down. The reason why you wanna go on a box here is to get more range of motion. When you go, uh, if, you can, if you can see, the kettlebell has some height, right? So if you just go down to the floor, then sometimes it, it restricts some range of motion. So he's gonna demonstrate a few of those. Yeah, go in front. See how you can go way far down there, feel a good stretch in the hamstrings there. This is a this is just a deadlift. And once you get good with those, one thing I really like is a single leg deadlift. Some people call it a Bulgarian, but with the hip shift. So we're gonna show that one right now. So this is a single leg deadlift, uh, sort of like a Bulgarian, but with the hip shift. So this is how he's set up. He's got a little bit of bend in the front knee. This leg is totally weightless. It's just for balance. So that the back leg's pretty much limp. When he goes down, he's gonna lower the weight to that front big toe, and he's gonna shift his pelvis and eccentrically load that right butt cheek. And then come back up. And as you come back up, you kind of have a twisting motion. So you load the pelvis when you're down, and when you stand up, you twist out of it. Really good to uh, get up that mind-muscle connection to the glute complex. Feel a really good stretch in the hamstring, some people will. And uh, really good, really good exercise here. From here, we move into the side bend. Really the, just another really good core exercise that I like. So Brandon's gonna face this way and one hand on his hip here. The idea here is you wanna stand up as straight as possible and just lean over to the side. Feeling a stretch. So if he's bending that way, he's working this, this side. And there's a preference what you like to do with your off arm, whether you want it to be on your hip, on your head, out for balance, really doesn't matter. What matters is that he doesn't bend forward. He wants to stay just to the side. If he goes to the if he goes forward, he's gonna be training different muscles. And from there, the last thing we like to do is uh, some hip flexion. So you're gonna use a box again. He's gonna hop up on the box. This will be down on the ground. He's gonna have his toe in here. And this is why you wanna be on the box, because as you can see, the height of the kettlebell, you wanna have slack and tension at the bottom. So he's just gonna stick his foot in there and have his hand on something for balance and just Lift the kettlebell up. Really good for the hip flexors. You might feel it in the top of the quad as well. Nice, looks good. So these are the exercises for the lower body uh, that you can use a kettlebell for. Uh, and stay tuned for the next video about the kettlebell and the upper body. Thanks for watching.